Back now with a push for upgrades at a local high school football stadium. We first told you about some of the issues last night at 5. That's when we had the story of mold in the bathrooms at Great Bridge High School Stadium. That mold may be just one of many problems for this. Many say it's being run into the ground. And your side's Andy Fox is looking into whether the money is there for an upgrade. This is the football complex at Great Bridge Middle School. Great Bridge High School plays here because they don't have a field of their own over at the high school. The Booster Club says they're fed up with problems that never seem to get fixed. Booster Club co-vice president Patrick Hilton. As a city asset, we're all taxpayers. Everybody in Chesapeake should be up in arms about the way that these facilities have been maintained. It's apparently been going on for years. In this October 2012 letter from the Great Bridge High School principal, our stadium locker rooms, concession stands, and restrooms are closed to allow orders to be completed. They're still closed five years later. Great Bridge has not made its voice loud enough, and it's time for us to be heard. We need our issues addressed. The bathrooms closed down again Monday. Mold concerns. This is mold in the ceiling of one of the portable locker rooms. These are the portable locker rooms players have to change in. Thursday night, the JV cheerleaders changed and put on makeup in a porta john outside the stadium. Yeah, that's rough. I can't imagine anybody thinking that it's okay for their daughter to be putting on makeup and changing in a porta potty out in front of a what is supposed to be a city maintained city asset. We went to the Chesapeake Schools Administration building. No comment there except for this email confirming the concrete bleachers remain structurally sound, but water leaks into underneath areas remain a problem. We wanted to ask the administration why on at least game day, the players and the cheerleaders can't use locker rooms in Great Bridge Middle School. I mean, it seems like a reasonable solution. I'm surprised that, that this hasn't been brought up before. Doesn't solution. that solve all the problems? It does. With the changing and the portables, the cheerleaders, Leaders outside of the Port of Johns. Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely does. 10 on your side is going to stay on top of this story, seeing at the possible solution of giving access to the middle school for the players and the cheerleaders is possible on game day. In Chesapeake, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.